Okay guys, I know the title of this video probably seems or sounds a little confusing. If this is so bullish, why did you short? If you've been following me for years, I I like to find points to short when price is pushing up, and I look, look for points to long when price is dropping. That's why I'm bearish when price is bullish and bullish when price is bearish. I like to find those points to find entries. Now, yes, I'm in a short, but I want you to know that these lines, again, I don't want you to be afraid of, afraid of these lines. I just want to show you why these lines are, are actually bullish. Because once we get above this line, guys, it'll be like a springboard to the moon. I mean, we could be going up to $100,000, $200,000, and that will be confirmed once we get above this point. Now, again, I'm not telling anyone to short, anyone to sell. I decided to short, so that's that's on me. But I want to explain to you why this is super, super bullish. I'm going to break down each one of these lines. Now, I already made a post in Discord that I went short and already talked about these lines, told where I have my stop loss and where I'll add to my short. But that's for me, again, this, this is more explaining why these lines are bullish. So I'm going to break it all down for you. And guys, if you want to sign up to start trading, uh, CoinCatch is a great option, a KYC, a Bit gets another good option for you, uh, as well as being X. All those links to sign up are pinned in the first comment in the description. I'm already in my short on being X. I'm giving it an open one on CoinCatch soon. So let me go ahead and break down these lines. Uh, I, I just I want to explain why these are so important. So I have another chart open, and I'm sure you're familiar with these rings. Now, this ring right here, this FIP circle, this orange one, I'm going to make it blue just so the color is... Because I have those lines. There's a red line, a yellow line, an orange line, and a red line. So I want to make this a different color just so it doesn't confuse you guys when I start talking about colors. So I'll make it a dark blue. Okay, so these are the rings. Remember, these these are the rings I said every time we cross, they expect to pump. Cross, they expect to pump, right? And then I said the orange ring that's now blue. Every time we cross, they expect to dump. They expect to dump. And, you know, I'm waiting for that dump. It's not happening. So, again, that's why this is looking super bullish. But I want to show you these lines. So if... I go back to this chart, and I'm going to grab this lower line, this yellow line. So I'm going to go copy, and I'm going to go paste. All right, there we go. So I'm going to paste it in. So look at that line, all right? Now, again, I'm showing you why this line is going to be super, super, super bullish. Now, if you'll, know, if you'll take note, this was back in 2013, right? It was resistance, right? We pushed above it. Look at that. We pushed above it, and what happened? It became super support. We bounced on it. We bounced on it. We got we got below it briefly, but we pushed back up. And then yeah, we broke it. That happens sometimes. All right. And then look what happened. We pushed above it again, right here. And what happened? We pushed above it. It became support. Right. It became super support. We it was a springboard. We shot straight up. And yeah, we we broke below it here, and it became resistance. But look what happens. We pushed above it. Became support. Springboard. Shot straight up. Hit it again. Shot straight up. Yeah, we broke below it, and then we pushed back up. Look what happened. Look at all that support. Another springboard shot straight up. So you can see why this line is super, super bullish. We broke below it. Yeah, I see. We broke below it, and we pushed up. It became resistance. Unfortunately, we dropped. Sometimes that happens. Well, you can see that we are approaching that yellow line right now. And you see, this goes all the way back to the top wick from 2013. And we're right at this point right now. So what does that mean? That means once we get above this yellow line, it's going to be a springboard sending us to the moon. All right, so that's the yellow line. So let's go back to this chart. Now let's copy this orange line. So I'm going to go copy, and we're going to go paste. Now look at this line. Now this, this is incredible. And what, what's really neat is all these lines converge right where price currently is. And that's why this is getting even more bullish. So this was our peak back in, this was also 2013, we had two peaks. But notice it was, it was resistance, right? We, we got rejected, right? We got rejected, yeah, but look what happened. We broke above it, and then look, it became support. Shot straight up, another springboard, right? Became support, and it became support, and then it became resistance, and we dropped. Again, it happens, it was resistance here. But look, it became support, and we didn't really shoot that high, but it did become support. We got some nice bounces. And then it became resistance, unfortunately. And then right here, we pushed above it. Look what happened. Came back down, springboard shot straight up. And then here, it was support. And then we, we unfortunately, we broke down below it. 
So you can see these two lines are some critical resistance lines. But remember, critical resistance can become critical support. And that's why these lines are so bullish. Now we have one more. I want to show you this red line. So I'm going to go copy. And we're going to go paste. All right, so, so this is the third line. And you can see, now this one, it's a little hard finding the wicks, but I think you get the gist of it. Uh, this was our peak in 2017. You can see it was, it, we did get a wick above, but you'll notice that there's some wicks right here. It was resistance, right? And then we pushed up, and what happened? We pushed above it, it became support, springboard shot straight up. We hit it again, springboard shot straight up. Hit it again, just bounced and bounced and bounced. Unfortunately, Yes, yeah, sometimes it happens. We, we broke down below it and, and we started dropping. But we're back up at it now. And you can see all of these lines, right? All three of these lines, the yellow one, the orange one, and the red one, they all converge right here. So this is super, super bullish. Once we get above this and hold support, just like back here, we held support, shot straight up, held support, shot straight up, held support, shot straight up. Once we get above this point, and it holds support, bam, we're going right to $200,000. So again, I, I don't want you to be afraid of these lines. I want you to look at it as a bullish. Remember, the trend is your friend, and right now the trend is up. So let's just count how many times we pushed above this. So the yellow line down here, we pushed above it, right, one time, and then it became support. We pushed above it right here, so that was twice, right? Right here, three times, four times, and we're at it right now. So this will be the fifth time, potentially, we'll break above this yellow line to become support. The orange line, we broke above it one time, two times, three times. So look at that. So, so this line, the previous line, the yellow line, we broke above it one, two, three, four times, right? The orange line, we broke above it one, two, three times. And the red line, we broke above it once, right? So again, I'm just saying, this, these, this is going to be a key support level that's going to springboard us to 200,000. Now again, I decided to short it because, guys, that's what I do. I, I like to short resistance. But you guys should look at it as bullish because once we get above that, I mean, the sky's the limit. Because instead of being resistance, it'll become super support. And that's why this is such a critical level to pay attention to. Once we're above this, guys, we're off to the moon. And I'm very, very excited about that. I did post this in Discord. I, I did post where I had my stop loss um, and where I'll be adding to my short because I'm crazy and I like to short a bull market. But anyways, guys, if you do want to sign up and get access to the charts, the website is opticalcrypto.com. That link is pinned in the first comment description. If you want to sign up, you're welcome to. You can't be able to USDT, but you need to email me through the website. And I would like to point out, guys, as I just showed you, this is, this is the point I'm watching. Once we get above this, we are off to the moon. If you look at the heat maps uh, right here, you'll notice that there's a lot of liquidity at 53K. So as soon as price pushes up and takes out that liquidity, right? And then it holds a support, like I said, rocket ship to the moon, guys. I'm talking about, I mean, all we have to do is get above that point. Just, again, I, you can clearly see once we get above these lines, moon. Get above this line, moon. So once we get above these three lines, guys, we are off to the moon. So anyways, that's all I wanted to show. Uh, trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.